Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be showing you how you can make a realistic, authentic um, guitar strum in this Ampol Guitar M Lite 2. Okay, so first we look at the panel itself, you have main strummer tab fx edit settings and all of this we're not good gonna go into this right now i just want to show you how you can create a strumming pattern without even doing this anything like this this and then this That's okay too if you wanna pluck, create a some sort of unique pluck, but you can also do that, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first, you have to activate the strum pattern using the F flat in the fifth octave, and it's here. So for this one whole bar, we're going to have to make the note as long as the bar is. Do the same for the other two or three, how long or how many chords you want to include in your progression. For me, I'm just going to do four for this tutorial. And I'm going to be using the C major chord as you can see here C major and this is the this is the strum pattern that it's on right now this one here so once you trigger the strumming uh, mode it's here and you're happy with how many bars or chords you're going to like for instance if you change chords in between you can just shorten this one or you can leave it full and just change the this is the strum you're activating the strum mode on the keyboard and over here as you can see I just drop down the C, C note this is the chord you're gonna tell it to strum in C, C and I want it to be C D minor I know this is D minor because D major is here I'll make another video tutorial telling you all the chords instead of searching or you can just experiment with it yourself and find out which chord is which represented by which key here so this is C ma major to D minor to uh, G and then back to F again okay let's hear how it sounds I've set my tempo to 85 BPM. There's no reason to, just wanted a slow, slow tempo. Let's go. So you see. Nothing's happening. Because you need to come to the um, Ampol Guitar panel. As soon as you open it up, it's going to stay on the main uh, category. So you have to switch to the strummer mode. And then you come down here and flick this switch from off to on. 
so on the keyboard we've triggered the strumming mode and we've told the plugin which chords we want the strummer to play in and we have to activate the strummer mode on the plugin itself which is here after you've switched this on and you have your strummer mode activated on the keyboard you can go ahead and press play okay this is not the only strum pattern that it has or comes with you click on this small um, folder icon here it opens up this and you can see from here all the way down all the way down to here are different strum patterns that you can choose from you have metal chords rock country blues folk and reggae waltz flamenco funk samba R&B pop there's different different types of strum patterns that you can choose from let's try this one and see and this one Okay, that's all. And that's all. Thank you, Lubna Watts. Please subscribe, comment for more content like this. If you got some blast game law and Paul Gitan about them. If you have any questions regarding this plugin, please let me know in the comment section so I can help you to the fullest of my ability. Thank you, Strat. Love you guys. Peace.